teachers are professionals. So we expect them to, uh, to respect their profession. They have subjected themselves to, uh, to abuse the students. Students in most cases are very innocent. Uh, sometimes parents are to blame. It is the side that brings up the child. We are really annoyed even as parents. A teacher plays the role of imparting knowledge and molding a child's character. Unfortunately, the number of cases of teachers abusing their students is shocking. According to a report by the Teacher Service Commission released in November 2009, over 12,000 girls were sexually abused between the year 2003 and 2007. Child Rescuing Center, based in Thika, is a children's home founded by a team of social workers. They rescue disadvantaged children who have had various misfortune, like negligence and abuse in their lives. They let them grow in a good environment with the provision of the necessary needs. CRC is a child rescue center, which uh, was registered in 204. But before 204, it has been operating as a self-help group. Later on, it was registered as an NGO in Thika, 204. One victim of sexual abuse by a teacher has found a safe haven here. Since we work together to see the welfare of the children, that's how I came to rescue Juliet Aziza Musa, who was passing through trauma of being abused by father and a teacher. A teacher from one of the school where she was being schooling in a redeemed church in Nairobi. For my young neighbor, Juliet Aziza, when she was in the school of Gatwanyaga Primary School, Kuna mwalimu ambaye alikuwa tunaishi na yeye plot moja, floor moja, kwa tunaka first floor. Yeye alikuwa anaka mlango 23, sisi kwa tunaka 24, uko na fatana. Emily Mihaki is yet another victim of sexual abuse by her teacher. This resulted in her getting pregnant and dropping out of school. She is now nursing a 5-month-old baby. Nikona mtu na mtu amesimama kwenye mlango juu mlango kona strips na hizo strips zikona ikona space ikona gaps unaweza ona mtu kama amesimama anachungulia sasa mimi nikashtuka kwa nini huyo mtu anachungulia ananichungulia instead of a knock ajoka kuna mtu so lakini akili yangu iko imenipati siko nimefikiria vibaya eti mtafanywa kitendo kama hicho Minis nili asumi kadhani pengine amekuja kuangalia ndo yake kama imejaa mazi. Vile nilifungua mlango kitu cha kwanza alitoa manila kanishindile yote kwenye mdomo. Hii manila ya uzi. Then vile alinieka siku anaweza kunini ku shout akanishika pua na mkono wake mmoja then akanisukuma kukuta. Vile alinisukuma alichukua ndo ilikuwa na kamba akanifunga kwenye mkono na akantoa leso ambayo nilikuwa nimejifunga akanifunga kwenye mdomo akatoa manila sasa manila kaiangusha chini then vile alinifunga hivyo akanirarulia nilikuwa na baika akanirarulia baika then suruali ya kutoa aliweka just one side then hapo ndo alinirepia akaninua mguu mmoja juu saa vile alimaliza 
akanisukuma aka chini nikaanguka akaniambia nime revenge kwa Saturday ndio watoto kenda break saa mimi nikabaki ndani tulikuwa tumebaki watatu wa class 7 mimi nikiwa mmoja saa wengi au wakaenda break kaa sijajua na pia mwalimu alikuwa amejua wakienda lakini saa ndio sizo vile alienda Everybody has lost the morale and role models. That is lack of role model. Because for a teacher and a child, I don't see it. That means you have no ethics. And in our training, we were well trained about it. It should be heavier because you are making a life. So when you don't see your student as a student, you see otherwise, there is something wrong with you. The teacher was reported and bribed the father, and the father took 24, 25,000. That's how the girl told me, and now he is outside. But due to this case, since I started to do a follow-up, the magistrate have decided to bring up that case of the teacher. It will report post Zakari, but David Lalipele Kwembakasi, India Katokana Kashmir. The Teacher Service Commission Discipline Division formulates the laws that dictate how teachers should conduct themselves and the repercussions of violating those laws. We receive like 10 cases in a month and if you go by the last contract year, which ran from 1st of July 2007 to 30th June 2010, we registered about 121 cases. Areas most affected in Kenya are um, Eastern Province, registers quite a lot, uh, Nyanza Province, uh, and a section of Western Province, and Central Province. Those are the areas that we get most of our cases from. When a case is reported, we treat it as an allegation. So we embark on investigation, and the bulk of that is done by our agents in the field, where agents in this case imply the provincial directors of education. We have district commissioners, uh, uh, district officers in the field. Then we have, um, in the municipalities, we have, like here, we have the director city education in Nairobi. In other municipalities, we have the municipal education officers. So they will investigate, assemble evidence, and then if the teacher has a case to answer, the teacher will be interdicted. And once a teacher is interdicted, it means that they will not discharge their duties until a decision is made on their cases. She doesn't need to use my name, Pityani. Yani kukosa classes. Kusababu sami kama na funzi na jana tamani kusomu. Kusa mwapayote si jenda class. Nyeleka sana. Nikiwa shule ni sikuwa na concentrate. Na bado nikuwa na nikiangalia wasicha na wenzangu. Wama wanafunzo wenzangu na nikiziangalia, nikikompea. Na na kuna different kubwa between mimi na wao. Because kitu ambacho kimeendendekia nikuwa na jona mi saisi kwa normal. Na nikuwa na una I'm useless. Saa kwa class hata malimu alikuwa kifundisha. Vitu kwa hivyo about rap sikuwa na concentrate. Nikuwa na kwa shocked. Na nilikuwa na na jishuku. Kila mtu amejua. Nikuwa na una watu wana nidharau. Saa hata sikuwa na concentrate hivyo. Hata nikuwa nafanya mtiani sifikishi hata 250. We do have very serious punishment or penalties, if you want to uh, call them that. A uh, teacher who is found to have violated a child sexually uh, can be dismissed or dismissed and removed from the register of teachers. A uh, teacher who is dismissed is denied the opportunity to work with the commission. But that teacher uh, uh, may work in another learning institution that is not run by a government. A teacher who is removed from the register of teachers has no mandate to teach in any school in this country. So that is the most serious measure that we take. Now that is on the reactive uh, part, but uh, we are also proactive in the 
sense that we have uh, sensitization programs where we go out in the field to sensitize the agents, sensitize the teachers on the aspect of maintaining professionalism and reminding them of that responsibility that they have towards the learners and of course informing them of the penalty that they will suffer should they violate the teacher-child relationship. The punishment to the teacher should be made public so that no other teacher may be able to do that because they will be like, okay, this is what happened last time, then I cannot be able to do this. The disciplinary measures should be taken for that habit to stop as quick as possible and to manage the, the whole institution. Sababu, hakuna different ya mtu afungwe miaka ifike atolewe aende afanyie tena mtoto mwingine kitendo kama hicho kwa sababu ikiwa ni tabia haiwezi isha kwa sababu kuna waswahili wanasema mtoto anyoka ni nyoka anafaa kuchukuliwa watu wakali to the culprits for talking as a discipline officer who probably feel like they're demanding them um, it, there's nothing so positive to tell the culprits because they have already violated and they have gotten out of uh, the system. If they have been dismissed, they have been uh, removed from the register of teachers. So much of what I would speak really would be to those that have not yet become culprits and tell them never to try to be culprits because the penalties are so stiff. Sexual violation of children is a very serious offense. And if somebody would step in court because of that, they stand to lose. And uh, their future is ruined if they, uh, if they don't uh, manage to defend themselves adequately. And if they are violators, really, I don't see how they will defend themselves adequately and get out of it. So it is to those who have not yet violated. To those who have already violated, it is a shame that as a professional, you disgrace the teaching profession to that extent and exit in that manner. It is a business. I'm going to ask you to ask to ask you 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 to the girls who have been violated, I would urge them not to just look at it at the end of the road for themselves because education counts in life to a very big extent, especially in a country like Kenya where papers speak volumes. So I would urge them to still pursue their education and have the certificates that will enable them to earn a living in the country. And at any rate, they need to do more, especially now if they have a child then they have that child to support. Every child has a right to education. No one should be allowed to jeopardize this by taking advantage of them. More should be done to these culprits and parents are advised not to interfere with the law process by accepting bribes. Children are urged to speak up when they feel they have been abused in order for this vice to be nipped in the bud. This will enable them to move on and lead a bright and fulfilling life.